Welcome to a proof of the derivative of f of x equals a raised to the power of x. We'll prove the derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to natural log a times a to the x. In this proof, we'll be using the definition of an exponential function to base a given here, where a to the x is equal to e raised to the power of natural log a to the x. If we apply the power property of logarithms to the exponent, we can also write this as e raised to the power of x times natural log a. And therefore, to begin the proof, we'll say the derivative of a raised to the power of x with respect to x equals the derivative of e raised to the power of x times natural log a with respect to x. Notice here we have a composite function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule to find this derivative, so we'll let u be equal to the inner function, which in this case would be x times natural log a. So u is equal to x times natural log a, and therefore u prime, or du dx, is equal to natural log a, because the derivative of x with respect to x is one, and natural log a is a constant. So now we have the derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to the derivative of e to the u with respect to x. And we know this derivative is equal to e to the u times u prime, which we have here. So for the next step, we'll just perform substitution for u and u prime, again where u is equal to x times natural log a, and u prime is equal to natural log a. So now we have the derivative of a raised to the power of x with respect to x equals e raised to the power of x times natural log a times natural log a. But now referring back to our definition, e raised to the power of x times natural log a is equal to a to the x, and therefore the derivative of a raised to the power of x with respect to x equals a to the x times natural log a, or if we want, natural log a times a to the x. And we have our proof. I hope you found this helpful.